So I know most of my subscribers may think that I'm actually the, a really good person, you know, I'm an angel, I don't do anything wrong, but truth be told, I've actually had a few encounters with the law. I've never had any felonies or misdemeanors or anything, but a bitch gets pulled over quite often. Everyone gets tickets, it's a fact of life. So today I decided to compile a list of my top five ways to get out of a ticket if you're ever pulled over. Number one, be a girl. Now this is for my ladies. Man, y'all bitches got it so easy like motherfucking Paula DeAnda on that ass. All you need to have is a push-up bra, some flippable hair, and a nice friendly smile and you are set. Psh, if a guy decided to go to a police officer and be all seductive and sweet, we would probably get twice the amount of the ticket and probably get our ass beat. Oh, hello, officer. Unless you're looking tore up from the floor up like motherfucking Lindsay Lohan and that bitch still got acquitted from most of her stuff looking like a motherfucking raggedy and all. Use what you got to not get squat. Number two, cry. Everyone always asks me, Jared, do you have any hidden talents? Like, are there any special things you can do? And most of the time I just say no because, you know, all my talents are quite evident. After today, I realized I can cry on cue when it's necessary. And when people are throwing hundreds of dollars worth of tickets at me, I find that that would be a necessary situation. Listen, bitches, I've cried every single time I've gotten pulled over, and it actually works. Cops are very sympathetic when people, when they're just all flustered and their emotions are going crazy and they feel disoriented and out of whack. Please don't be that opposite bitch that's trying to be with, smart with a cop. You know how fast you were going? Do you know if you were speeding or not? Yeah, I know. You were just asking for those points on your license to rack up like a game of Jenga. Number three, make sure you give that bitch compliments out the wahoo. I don't care if that bitch looks like Hugh Hefner, you better make sure you give that bitch compliments. Oh, you look so young. They take their sunglasses off. Oh, wow, sir, your eyes are amazing. Or gentlemen, if it's a lady cop, tell her that she reminds you of an old coach. Man, you look like my old coach from high school. You know, she was only two years older than the rest of the team. Now, although humor may not be as effective as crying, some cops actually dig people that can make them laugh and it will cut a wholesome slack. Number four, Blame nature. Listen, when people gotta go, they gotta go. Whether it's motherfucking number one or number two on that ass, y'all need to pretend that it is an emergency and you need to get to where you're going. For example, a friend of mine told me that her friend actually poured a bottle of water on her crotch right before the officer came to the window. Now besides being fucking genius, if you have props in your car, you know, use that shit. Melted candy bar. Stick it in your hand. <laughs> Ladies, you have it especially easy because everyone knows the time of the month, that time where Mother Nature sends you guys a gift is like the one thing that'll make any straight man squirm. Fuck that, it'll make any man squirm because I hate talking about period. Anytime I hear that word, it just goes, ooh, ooh, my poor ears. Needless to say, a male cop is not gonna be like, oh ma'am, you know, well, I got some tampons in the back of my seat. Lastly, number five, make sure y'all sober that shit up. Now let's get one thing straight here. Jared Monster does not condone drunk driving. However, I am a college student and I know that at least you know, 75% of the college student has at least been in a car with a drunk driver or has driven drunk at least one time in their life. Therefore, when you see those police lights behind your ass, y'all better flick on that imaginary sober switch and you better act for the gods. Now, me personally, I have been approached many times by police officers due to alcohol-related events. However, nothing has really come out of the situation because a bitch knows how to work the system. Act suave, cool, sophisticated. If they ask your ass to walk a line, be like that bitch from Reno 911 and do a fucking dance routine. Okay. In conclusion, I hope you guys find these tips helpful. You know, it's appropriate time, especially the holidays are coming up, so you know the police are going to be everywhere. Comment below right now and tell me some of your stories about you getting pulled over and how did you get out of tickets. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. Subscribe to me right now. With that being said, I love you all. Have an awesome and amazing weekend.